for the no pectin jam, we need three pounds of chopped up plums. There is nothing more exciting than harvesting fresh fruit from your own tree. And we have plums galore in the late bloomer garden. Today in Kay's Kitchen, we are cooking up a recipe from frugalfamilyhome.com for no pectin plum jam. It sounds so simple and I can't wait to try it. So stay with me. This plum is so perfect, I hate to even cut it. Look how red flesh is on. When it's just the perfect ripeness, the flesh is really pink like that. Gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna see how many we've got. We got one pound. Two pounds to go. All right, let's give these a loose chop, just so our pieces are a little bit smaller to break down in the sugar. This is a super easy recipe. We're gonna mix it up with the sugar and leave it in the refrigerator overnight. Looks pretty good. We've got about three pounds now. Let's see. Oh no. I don't. That is not three pounds. I need another half a pound. Oh, that's, that's a good three right there. We're adding one cup of sugar to our three pounds of plums. Those probably could have been chopped a little bit more. So good. Okay, we are going to cover that and leave it in the refrigerator overnight. So our plums have been in the refrigerator all night and we are going to put them into a pan. We're going to bring that up to high heat and I'm going to stir this until it reaches the gelling point. I don't have a thermometer so we will be testing spoons in the freezer. So the recipe calls for doing the plum jam on high heat and you want to just keep stirring constantly because you don't want it to stick or burn. And I'm all set up here for deep water canning because I want to preserve my harvest. That's looking close. Okay, I'm going to give it another try. I think we are there. This is looking great. 
we are going to lift our jars out of the deep water canning bath. You can sterilize your jars in a dishwasher or you can do them in your pot. You just have to make sure you have a lifter so you don't burn your hand. And now we're going to put in our jam into our hot jars. That looks awesome. You want to leave a little head space. Looks great. And you always have to clean the rim of your jar for a good seal. Okay. You take your magnetized lid lifter. Your, lips, your lids have been simmering in some hot water. Can't seem to get one. There we go. And these jars are super hot. You don't want to tighten them too tight. And you just repeat the process until you have all of your jam in jars. I'm letting my water continue to boil because these jars are going right back in. It takes about three of these to fill it up. Three and a half. <laughs> nope. It takes actually four to fill it up. That looks pretty good. the lid it should drip and I did just clean off the rim and then looks like it's going to come out to exactly be about three jars. Ooh, might have gotten too much. Let's see. Ah, perfect. Perfection. Look at that. You want a perfect seal, which is why you have to clean the lid. They're not real tight, and you want to put them back into the water bath for 10 minutes. Just waiting for that little pot to know that the seal is tight. There we go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this channel, liking my videos, and especially sharing them with your friends. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And if you enjoyed this one, why not try these? Thanks a lot. See you next time.